Hey everyone, it's Brett here with The Tuning School and we've been getting a lot of questions from you guys that are working with these Dodge Hemi ECUs. And so today we're gonna to be going over which ECUs actually came with these Hemi engines, which ones need to be unlocked by HB tuners, and also which ones are supported by HB tuners. Starting things off in 2004 with the modern Hemi engine, we have the NGC3 ECU. Now this is the first ECU that's used in these Hemi applications, and you're gonna find them in anything from 2004 to 2005. Now this means primarily they're in pickup trucks because to this point there are no chargers or challengers on the scene yet. In 2006, there's a different variant of this NGC3 ECU called an NGC3 CAN. And so that unit, that specific ECU is gonna come with CAN bus. Now, you're gonna find those in trucks as well as chargers because in 2006, that's when the Dodge Charger first came on the scene. And so you're gonna find it in those applications as well. Now, an interesting tuning characteristic about this ECU is it utilizes a VE table for its airflow calculations. So it utilizes this VE table to know how much air is inside of the engine, therefore how long to open the injectors for. Now, the nice thing about these VE tables is they're pretty much universal across all platforms. GMs have them, Fords have them, and even standalone ECUs utilize the same type of table. It's based off RPM and load, and usually it's in a VE percentage and a percentage of how full the cylinders are. Because these older ECUs are based on VE, it's very easy for a lot of tuners to start tuning them, especially if they have experience on other platforms. So the next generation of ECU is gonna be the NGC4. Now the NGC4 is gonna be in all the Hemi equipped vehicles from 2007 to 2010. So at this point, we're talking about pickup trucks, chargers, and challengers. Now in 2011, the cars move on to the next generation of ECU. So the chargers and the challengers are gonna move on to the GPEC2 ECU, which we'll discuss in a minute. But the trucks keep a different variant of this NGC4 in 2011 and 2012. And so in 2011 and 2012, what you'll find is an NGC4A, and that's gonna only apply to those pickup trucks. Now, an interesting thing about this ECU when it comes to tuning them is all of these ECUs are going to be equipped with an artificial neural network. So starting in 2007, you'll find that you'll have a section under airflow where you'll see neural network. But if you look at anything before 2010, where it says use neural network, it's gonna have a switch that says disabled. And so the reason that neural network exists is because of the advent of variable camshaft, right? And so the purpose of artificial neural networks is to be able to calculate how much airflow is coming into our engine, much like a VE table. It's just a lot more complicated than a VE table would be because of the variableness of the airflow from that camshaft. And so Dodge starts using variable camshafts in their applications in 2010. And so when you start to look at the 2010 files and newer, that's when you'll see that these neural networks are enabled. There are some exceptions to this. For example, 6.1 liter Hemis never got variable camshafts. And so no matter which 6.1 file you look at, it's always gonna say, disabled on those specific ECUs. So another interesting tuning characteristics about these NGC4 ECUs is at the moment we cannot directly modify the artificial neural network. We don't really have the tools to do it yet. And so what that means is for these NGC4 applications and really on every generation of ECU after this, what we're gonna be doing with those vehicles that are kind of more lightly modified and still retain a variable camshaft, we're gonna control the fueling via the injector tables that you see here. And so if I want the engine to have more fuel, I'm gonna tell the ECU that the injector is smaller. That will then cause the ECU to open the injector longer and get me that additional fuel that I want. And the same works in the opposite direction. If I want less fuel, I'm gonna tell it that the injector is larger and it's gonna open it for less time. It's not a great solution, but it is the best solution we have at the moment, not being able to directly modify the artificial neural network. Now, even though it does not utilize it, these NGC4 ECUs do have VE tables still like the NG3, NGC3s before them. But what we'll find in, in the more modified applications, stuff like force induction and big heads cam, we'll just turn off artificial neural network and tune them on speed density. Again, it's not a great solution because even though it has those VE tables, they're not exactly built for these cars. And so when you first move to the VE table, the car typically will run really poorly and it requires a lot of recalibration work to get that table where it's set up correctly. Now, the good news is we've been working on a solution here at the Tuning School for quite a while now that's gonna allow you guys, the end users, to modify the artificial neural network directly. Make sure you stay tuned to our social media pages and our website so you can know when that product is released. 
So as I briefly mentioned, the next generation of ECU is gonna be the GPEC 2. Now the GPEC 2 for cars is gonna start in 2011 and go to 2014, but for trucks, it's not gonna start until 2013 and it's only gonna go to 2014. Now the trucks, like I said before, is because they had that NGC4A ECU in the 2011 and 2012 model years. Now these ECUs tune out pretty much the same way that an NGC4 does. They have the artificial neural network. It's got those VE tables in the background that you can use, but typically we're gonna be trying to use those injector tables to control our fueling. Now there is one exception to this GPEC-2 ECU. Uh, like I said, the trucks run to 2014, but in 2014, if you have a Ram truck with a 6.4 liter in it, you're actually gonna have a GPEC-2A ECU. And so it, that truck is the first truck to get the next generation of ECU, but it's that only that model that's gonna have it. And so everything else is typically going to be your GPEC-2 that you see here. So the next and final generation of ECU is gonna be the GPEC 2A. Now this is gonna start in all of the applications for Hemis in 2015 and go all the way through the current model year at the time we shot this video. Now this is gonna tune out essentially identically to a GPEC 2. They really did not change much as far as tuning goes between these two ECUs. But one thing they did do is this is the first time that you're gonna have to send off the ECUs to be unlocked. And so what that's gonna require you to do is you're gonna have to remove the ECU physically from the vehicle and you're gonna have to send it off to HP Tuners. When HP Tuners receives it, what they're gonna do is they're gonna open up this ECU, they're gonna physically modify the inside and what that's giving you the ability to do is actually tune the vehicle. And so when HP Tuners sends you back that ECU, what you're gonna get is an ECU that's now gonna allow you to write to it. And so Dodge has put a lot newer, a lot more complicated security systems in these newer ECUs. And so they have to be physically modified before you can actually do any tuning on them. And so you have to take that into consideration when you're quoting jobs for customers or associating the cost of what it's gonna take to actually tune your vehicle. Now for full details on what's all required to send that ECU into HP Tuners, you're gonna wanna check out their website because there is some specific instructions on how to do it. Now, another variant to this is in 2018 and newer. So everything from 2018 and up, it's gonna require the same ECU unlock, but it's also gonna require you to get a smart access cable. Now this smart access cable is gonna go in line with one of the modules in the vehicle. It's essentially dropping a few pins out of that module and it's gonna give you the ability to flash the vehicle through the OBD2 port. And so what you have to keep in mind is for these GPEG 2A computers, anything that's 2015 to current has to be unlocked by HP tuners. Anything 2018 to current has to be unlocked and get a smart access cable. So now let's take a look at what's supported by HP tuners. And we're gonna start off with the trucks. And so our Dodge Ram trucks, everything from 2004 to 2020 is going to be supported by HP tuners. Now, as you go through these different generation of trucks, what you're gonna find is each truck is gonna take a little bit different amount of credits. You're gonna to wanna to check out the HP tuners website for the specific amount of credits for your vehicle. Now keep in mind, this is just a list of the modern Hemi engines. Uh, the HP Tuners units actually support Dodges that are older than this. And so if you have an older Dodge that predates these Hemi uh, engines and ECUs, you can go ahead and check out their website to figure out exactly if it supports your older, older application or not. But then moving on to the chargers, chargers is gonna be everything from 2006 to 2019. And this is gonna be including the Hellcat models. And those Hellcat models obviously are gonna be starting in 2015, which means all Hellcats are gonna require an ECU unlock. Now, something interesting, a side note about those Hellcats, these Hellcats are the first application we see on the Hemi platform of factory widebands. That that means that we don't have to use an aftermarket wideband to tune these vehicles at wide open throttle. They're in closed loop learning all the time. There's always fuel trims that are correcting the fueling, even if there's a fueling error. Because of this, it's super easy to tune those Hellcats at wide open throttle. It's also really hard to damage them because it's always gonna make sure that the fueling is safe, right? But again, you're gonna wanna check out HP Tuner's list on their website to make sure you know exactly how many credits your specific Dodge Charger is going to take. Lastly, we have the Challengers, and this is gonna be all of your Challengers from 2008 to 2019. And then you're gonna have your Hellcats, your Demons, and your Hellcat Red Eyes. They're all supported as well. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and that it gives you a better picture of what Dodge ECUs come with what applications and what goes into tuning them. If you guys wanna to learn to tune your own Hemi applications at home, make sure you head over to thetuningschool.com and check out our learning products. It's gonna teach you everything that you need to know to tune a minor bolt-ons, heads cam, and forced induction application. If you want more high performance tuning knowledge, make sure you follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and as always, stay tuned. So in 2018, you're going to get...